हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information they are telling us the leading zeros and enhancing value we never heard this before this is extremely impressive in the way the monetary reform is coming to you faster we predicted this It's good to see it happening. I am still hearing great things from bonds to banks to groups. Keep your ears open and your eyes peeled. Hopefully we will get some stunning news tomorrow. From the banking side, from someone who works in wealth management. They said we would not be doing this level of preparation if we weren't close. In other words, they should not be working weekends or throughout the week at this level if we were not close. They wouldn't give me what to expect date wise, but I find that encouraging. Have you ever wondered what it means to zeros from a currency? It sounds like a huge financial change, but some people are confused. Today, we are breaking down what the leading zeros really means in the context of the Iraqi dinar. It's a topic that's stirring up lots of talk lately. So, why is it important? Understanding this can help you make informed decisions about your investments and finances. Let's dive in and clarify a common misconception. Removing zeros is not the same as a lock. First, let's set the stage. What does deleting zeros actually mean? In simple terms, it's about collecting higher denomination notes and swapping them for lower ones. This process is similar to what happened in the past with the dinar during Saddam Hussein's regime. Back then, the Swiss dinar was introduced and many of the old notes were exchanged. This time, the goal is to correct the excessive inflation that led to those high denomination notes. So, how did this mess with zeros come about? To understand, we need to look back at Iraq's history and its economy. When Saddam's regime fell, the country faced enormous economic challenges hyperinflation led to the introduction of higher denomination notes like the 10000 and 25000 dinar bills with time these notes became a burden due to their value being diminished by inflation now let's talk about why this removal of zeros is gaining attention many people think it could help stabilize the economy but here's the catch Deleting the zeros is a simple act of collecting old notes. It's not just taking random bills out of circulation. It requires an organized effort where people exchange their high denomination notes for lower ones. This action won't change the actual value of the dinar immediately. Instead, it's a way to gradually restore public confidence in the currency. Now, let's go deeper into how this works. Imagine you have a bank filled with high denomination notes. The government sets a date for citizens to come in and exchange these notes. For every 10,000 dinar note you bring, you might receive a mix of lower notes like 1,000 and 5,000 dinars. Over time, this process can simplify transactions. Smaller notes mean you don't need to carry a thick wad of cash just to buy groceries. But what about the skeptics? Some people fear that this could lead to devaluation of their money. It's essential to understand that this is not a currency change like a lock. A lock typically means removing a large portion of the currency value, but deleting zeros is more of a reorganization. By doing this, the currency can look more stable on the surface. Let's consider the practical impact on everyday life. Think about someone trying to pay their rent with a stack of 25,000 dinar notes. It can be cumbersome and impractical. By swapping those out for more manageable lower denominations, 
transactions become easier. This simplification can encourage more spending and investment. And that's where the true power of deleting zeros comes into play. So what should you do if you hold Iraqi dinars? Keep yourself informed about the economic changes and currency policies. Engage with communities and forums discussing currency matters. Also, stay updated on the official announcements from the Central Bank of Iraq. As a last note, remember that currency dynamics can take time to unfold. So patience is key. If this video helped clear up your understanding of deleting zeros, give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's have a conversation about it. Make sure to subscribe for more insights into currency and finance topics. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay informed.